Hi, welcome to the camera and 3D view tutorial. In this video, I'm going to cover camera settings and movement, as well as manipulating objects in a 3D environment. I'll start off by covering the camera motion tools. The first one is the zoom tool. With this selected, I can zoom in and out of my scene by clicking and dragging. Next is the move tool. This is used for panning around scenes. You can also click and drag both mouse buttons while the move tool is selected as a more convenient way to zoom. The rotate tool will rotate your entire scene. This can be useful for a variety of unique first-person animation effects such as spinning or falling. Next is the camera focus tool. This provides you with a quick way to change your camera view. If you select to reset the view, the camera will zoom and focus on the central part of your scene. Focus All gives you a long distance perspective of your entire scene. The last one is Object Focus, which zooms in on any object you have selected on the screen. There's also Full Screen View, which you can toggle by pressing the F11 short key. Any object on the scene can also be manipulated on the 3D plane by using the Z Depth arrow, which is located near the bottom of every selected object. Simply click and drag on this area and your object or character will move back and forth on the Z axis of your scene. You can also select 3D view on the top toolbar to get a true 3D perspective of your scene. You can rotate and zoom in in this environment to get a better view of the distance between your 2D scene objects. You can move these objects in 3D view by selecting them and using the axis arrows on each one. If you want to animate your camera, you need to select the scene camera at the top right. Once this camera is selected, a red recording dot will appear on the top right of your stage area. Here's a brief example of how to perform camera movement. First, I'll zoom in on my scene. Then, I need to move the timeline scrub to a future position. After I do that, I simply zoom to the perspective that I want my camera to end up at. If I stop and play back, you can see how easy it is to do a simple yet impressive looking camera movement. Further camera settings can be found in the Project Settings area. Open up the window by selecting it at the bottom of your stage window. You can change your camera setting to orthographic mode. If you do this, there will no longer be any sort of 3D effect, regardless of where your props and characters are on the 3D plane. As you can see, the image is now flattened, and movement produces no 3D feel. You can also adjust the aperture of your camera. If I change the setting to something small like 35mm, the 3D effect in the scene is a lot stronger, as props and characters seem further apart on the Z-plane. However, if I use a large aperture, the scene has less of a 3D effect, and zooming in takes quite a bit longer. There are so many possibilities and ways to use camera movement to enhance your animation. The sky is the limit.